So here I have a mixture of gravel and water. And I want to separate this mixture to get the gravel out of the water. Here are four different separation methods that I could try to use to separate this mixture. I could pour the mixture through a wire mesh, allow the water to evaporate, pour the mixture through a paper filter, or pass a magnet through the mixture. So here's your question. Which of these separation methods will actually work and allow me to separate this mixture? Take a minute and discuss that with your classmates. Then I'll be back to talk about the answer. So let's try each separation method and see which ones work. When I pour the mixture through a wire mesh, the mesh catches the gravel while the water goes right through. Wire mesh strainers are a great way to separate larger solids from liquids or powders. I can also simply allow the water to evaporate. Here I've placed some of our mixture into a small dish, and several days later you can see that all the water has evaporated. So even though this took much longer than using a strainer, it still worked to separate our mixture. And here, I pour the mixture through a paper filter. While we normally use paper filters to filter out smaller insoluble solids like sand that are too small to be caught by a strainer, paper filters can be used to separate any insoluble solid from water. And finally, I pass a magnet through the mixture. But as you can see, the gravel is not attracted to the magnet. So this magnet is not working to separate the mixture. Remember, only certain materials are attracted to a magnet, like iron and steel. So magnets can only be used to separate those materials from a mixture. So we saw that pouring the mixture through a wire mesh, allowing the water to evaporate, and pouring the mixture through a paper filter all work to separate this mixture. But passing a magnet through the mixture did not work because the gravel was not attracted to the magnet. I'm sure this is what you and your classmates came up with. So keep up the great work, and I'll see you next time.